Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, and today I'll be reading this Scaramouche Successioner by me. So, let's get into it. One thing about Scaramouche is that he will never seem like the most romantic person in the world. And yet, he's very smitten with you. He loves you so much. And he will always look for an opportunity to show it. And right now, you were not being your most cheerful self. He could easily tell. So all he wanted was to find a way to cheer you up and bring a smile to your face. Which was not always easy, but it was something you could at least attempt to do. And right now as he held your hand and looked into your eyes, he could only wonder what you would think about his little idea. Why on? You know, I... I've thought of something. What do you mean? What did you think of? You ask him, feeling a little bit nervous. It was not often he thought of good things. And you don't mean that in a bad way. But most of the time, he loved to cause trouble. Or do something that is slightly illegal. So you could only wonder just what was going on through his head. And what he intended to do. And usually you'd be excited. Just to see what his head could conjure up right now. But at that very moment, you were not feeling much excitement in your body. Especially, not when you were so upset and so unsure of yourself. You had no idea what to do. And you were even less sure of what you wanted to accomplish. There were a lot of things on your mind. A lot of thoughts that weighed down on you. And right now, as he held your hand, your only idea was to stop thinking and try to put whatever thoughts on your mind to rest. I'm not telling you. You just have to trust me. Skira, I do trust you, but your ideas make me nervous. Do you trust me or not? I trust you. Of course I do. Then, just hold my hand. And hold it tightly. He warned. And then, he began leading you outside. Out of your living room. And into the balcony. And before you knew it, he had an arm wrapped around your waist. And you gasped. But then... You didn't have much time to say anything about it. Not when he was flying you up into the air. And just holding you close to his chest. As he flew. Making you scream and shock and fear. Skiramoosh, what are you doing? Put me down, right now. You screamed. And he laughed. Loudly. And only held you tighter. You're gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. Just hold on to me and don't let go. It's not like you ever thought to let go, but you only held on tighter from there, clinging to him as you kept your eyes firmly shut. Eventually, he slowed down, the two of you still high up in the air. Open your eyes. I've got something to show you. Scaramouche, I'm terrified. I don't want to open my eyes. Trust me, you're going to like it. Please. He pleaded. And he was not usually so soft. He didn't usually cuddle you. Or try to be so accommodating. But this time, he sensed that you needed it. And he was not one to back down on any of your needs. Eventually... After some convincing and persuading on his part, you did end up opening your eyes and looking down. At first, your hold on him only tightened and your nails dug into his shirt. But he did not seem too affected, just holding you, patiently waiting. And eventually you calmed down, smiling at the sight beneath you. It's so beautiful. So, you get to do this every day? 
Yeah, I do. And if you want, we could do this whenever you ask. I won't mind. If it makes you happy, then it's all I really need. He whispered, tucking a couple of stray hairs behind your ear. And you smiled softly, blushing. I would love that. I, I really would. It would be amazing, Skirmish. Well, you could do this whenever you want. Maybe every day. Every hour. Whenever you ask, Bayan, I'll be here. And you could see all the spots. There's somewhere else, too. There are so many places. It's actually fun. And relaxing, too. You could see the whole world, and hardly would anyone notice you. He giggled softly, nodding. Yeah, I guess. That's true. You know, I was always so scared of doing this. Even you flying around just scared me. I couldn't even imagine how you did it. But, I guess right now I understand. It's very nice, Scaramouche. Very peaceful and beautiful. And I'm glad I have you. It really means the world to me. You said, kissing his hand, and he smiled, flying you around as the two of you talked. I'm only glad that you're smiling now. That's all that really matters. You don't have to tell me what was bothering you. But at the very least, all I ever want is for you to let me be by your side. To help you in any way that I can. I can do that. And I can do a lot more. Scaramouche, you're worth trying for. You really are. And so are you, Wyan. You've changed me without even knowing. This is the least that I could do for you, he said. And the two of you just stayed in each other's arms, as you wondered, right above the clouds and high up in the air, was you in his arms like you were the only thing that mattered in the world. <laughs>